Should you back Tiernan Og? Yes, and it's one that I'll be adding to my collection too. I'm going to tell you why, but before I do, my name is Sam, this is Should You Back It, and I'm here to help you crowdfund with confidence. Tiernan Og is a competitive game that combines elements of hand management, and I'm equally going to say set collection too. It's a game for one to five players that will take you about 30 to 45 minutes to play, and the core pledge will currently set you back quite a reasonable $36, or about £29. Now in this game, you're going to be competing to complete a tableau of sagas by placing storyteller meeples between story cards on a shared grid. Once all the storytellers are placed, you'll then begin drafting cards into your hand and then place them down on the table to complete your tableaus, which are very simply victory condition cards that will require you to place down five storyteller cards in a specific order. At the end of five rounds, players will score each row of their tableau according to its condition card, and whoever has the most points wins. From the outset, this seems like a game that conceptually is quite easy to get to grips with, but adds an added degree of complexity and variety to gameplay due to the fact that some cards will have special abilities and modifiers. If you want a full, more in-depth overview and a look at some prototype components though, I'm going to link you to a video in the top right where you can check out a how to play by the Dicey review. So this game is being made by a company called the Grand Gamers Guild and whenever we do back something on GameFound or Kickstarter or any crowdfunding platform for that matter, it's always important to do some research on the company itself and see how their past projects went, see how they handled everything just to get a sense of what our experience could be as a backer of one of their games. Now this is the Grand Gamers Guild's first GameFound campaign but they have already successfully ran 10 Kickstarter campaigns as well as having some straight to retail games in their portfolio. Their latest Kickstarter campaign, the Artemis Project Satellites and Commanders, has an estimated delivery time of May 2023 and in their latest update on March 28th it looks like the game is on track to deliver on time or with a slight delay. They equally have another Kickstarter campaign that hasn't yet fulfilled, the Artemis Odyssey, which is in much the same situation as Satellites and Commanders. The Grand Gamers Guild are pushing out campaign updates once a month post-campaign, which is pretty standard, and these updates are to the point and incredibly clear. Looking through their past campaigns, comments and updates, it did seem like there were quite a few people who were missing their pledges. However, one thing that I've seen through doing research on these videos time and time again is that this is primarily due to people not completing their pledge managers. Mark at the Grand Gamers Guild is incredibly responsive in getting back to these people and some of these commenters have thankfully gone back and updated their comments to say that the issues were resolved and have spoken with some high praise as to the level of customer service and support received, which is always really good to see. All in all, I'd give Grand Gamers Guild a green light when it comes to a risk assessment point of view. They do have two campaigns unfulfilled, but their level of customer service that is being reported and their high degree of activity there help alleviate my worries, combined with the fact that the games are really in the final stretch as well. I believe you'll get your game with minimal delay, and Grand Gamers Guild seem to be a really solid company to support as well. So why do I think this is a game you should back? Well, I think this is a game that will be an easy teach and provide a solid light to medium experience with little setup and teardown time. The proposed component quality looks stunning and at the price point it's set at, if you are looking to fill a gap in your collection when it comes to card drafting with elements of set collection, then I think this would be a great game to fill that gap with. For me personally, this setting is equally an added bonus. It's always great to see my own culture being captured and portrayed in a board game medium that isn't stereotypical in nature, that attempts to honour our traditions and culture, and whose artwork isn't plastered with drunk leprechauns. As always though, this is just my recommendation, but hopefully you feel a little bit more informed. If you have found it helpful, I'd love it if you could subscribe. I'm a new channel trying to cover the games I think you're interested in, and your support really does help.